The nucleus is the very dense region consisting of protons and neutrons at the center of an atom. It was discovered in 1911 as a result of Ernest Rutherford's interpretation of the 1909 Giger Euro Marston Gold Foil experiment performed by Hans Geiger and Ernest Marston under Rutherford's direction. The proton Euro neutron model of nucleus was proposed by Dmitry Ivanenko in 1932. Almost all of the mass of an atom is located in the nucleus, with a very small contribution from the electron cloud. The diameter of the nucleus is in the range of 1.75 fm for hydrogen to about 15 fm for the heaviest atoms, such as uranium. These dimensions are much smaller than the diameter of the atom itself, by a factor of about 23,000 to about 145,000. The branch of physics concerned with studying and understanding the atomic nucleus, including its composition and the forces which bind it together, is called nuclear physics. Introduction History The nucleus was discovered in 1911, as a result of Ernest Rutherford's efforts to test Thomson's plum pudding model of the atom. The electron had already been discovered earlier by J. J. Thomson himself, and knowing that atoms are neutral, Thomson postulated that there must be a positive charge as well. In his plum pudding model, Thomson stated that an atom consisted of negative electrons randomly scattered within a sphere of positive charge. Ernest Rutherford later devised an experiment that involved the deflection of alpha particles at a thin sheet of metal foil. He reasoned that if Thomson's model were correct, the immense alpha particles would easily pass through the foil with very little deviation in their paths. To his surprise, many of the particles were deflected at very large angles. Because the mass of alpha particles is about 8,000 times that of an electron, it became apparent that a very strong force was present that allowed the particles to be deflected. He realized that the plum pudding model could not be accurate and that the deflections of the alpha particles could only be caused by a center of concentrated charge that contained most of the atom's mass. Thus, the idea of a nuclear atom a euro an atom with a dense center of positive shuji a euro became justified. Etymology, the term nucleus is from the Latin word nucleus, a diminutive of nux, meaning the kernel inside a watery type of fruit. In 1844, Michael Faraday used the term to refer to the central point of an atom. The modern atomic meaning was proposed by Ernest Rutherford in 1912. The adoption of the term nucleus to atomic theory, however, was not immediate. In 1916, for example, Gilbert N. Lewis stated, in his famous article The Atom and the Molecule, that the atom is composed of the kernel and an outer atom or shell, nuclear makeup. The nucleus of an atom consists of protons and neutrons bound by the nuclear force. These baryons are further composed of subatomic fundamental particles known as quarks bound by the strong interaction. Which chemical element an atom represents is determined by the number of protons in the nucleus. Each proton carries a single positive charge, and the total electrical charge of the nucleus is spread fairly uniformly throughout its body, with a fall off at the edge. Major exceptions to this rule are the light elements hydrogen and helium, where the charge is concentrated most highly at the single central point. This configuration is the same as for one's electrons in atomic orbitals, and is the expected density distribution for fermions in one states without orbital angular momentum. As each proton carries a unit of charge, the charge distribution is indicative of the proton distribution. The neutron distribution probably is similar. While protons define the entire charge of a nucleus and, hence, its chemical identity, neutrons are electrically neutral, but contribute to the mass of a nucleus to the same extent. Neutrons explain the phenomenon of isotopes a euro varieties of a chemical element which differ in atomic mass. Protons and neutrons, protons and neutrons are fermions, with different values of the strong isospin quantum number, so two protons and two neutrons can share the same space wave function since they are not identical quantum entities. They sometimes are viewed as two different quantum states of the same particle, the nucleon. Two fermions, such as two protons, or two neutrons, or a proton plus neutron can exhibit bosonic behavior when they become loosely bound in pairs. In the rare case of a hypernucleus, a third baryon called a hyperon, 
with a different value of the strangeness quantum number can also share the wave function. However, the latter type of nuclei are extremely unstable and are not found on Earth except in high-energy physics experiments. The neutron has a positively charged core of radius a per mil 0.3 fathoms surrounded by a compensating negative charge of radius between 0.3 fathoms and 2 fathoms. The proton has an approximately exponentially decaying positive charge distribution with a mean square radius of about 0.8 fathoms. Forces, nuclei are bound together by the residual strong force. The residual strong force is a minor residuum of the strong interaction which binds quarks together to form protons and neutrons. This force is much weaker between neutrons and protons because it is mostly neutralized within them, in the same way that electromagnetic forces between neutral atoms are much weaker than the electromagnetic forces that hold the parts of the atoms internally together. The nuclear force is highly attractive at the distance of typical nucleon separation, and this overwhelms the repulsion between protons which is due to the electromagnetic force, thus allowing nuclei to exist. However, because the residual strong force has a limited range because it decays quickly with distance, only nuclei smaller than a certain size can be completely stable. The largest known completely stable nucleus is Li208 which contains a total of 208 nucleons. Nuclei larger than this maximal size of 208 particles are unstable and become increasingly short-lived with larger size, as the number of neutrons and protons which compose them increases beyond this number. However, bismuth-209 is also stable to beta decay and has the longest half-life to alpha decay of any known isotope, estimated at a billion times longer than the age of the universe. The residual strong force is effective over a very short range and causes an attraction between any pair of nucleons. For example, between protons and neutrons to form, NP deuteron, and also between protons and protons, and neutrons and neutrons. Halo nuclei and strong force range limits The effective absolute limit of the range of the strong forces represented by halo nuclei such as lithium-11 or boron-14, in which dineutrons, or other collections of neutrons, orbit at distances of about 10 fermis. These nuclei are not maximally dense. Halo nuclei form at the extreme edges of the chart of the nucleidase euro the neutron drip line and proton drip line euro, and are all unstable with short half-lives, measured in milliseconds. For example, lithium-11 has a half-life of less than 8.6 milliseconds. Halos in effect represent an excited state with nucleons in an outer quantum shell which is unfilled energy levels below it. The halo may be made of either neutrons, NN, NNN or protons, PP, PPP. Nuclei which have a single neutron halo include 11B and 19Ca2 neutron halo is exhibited by 6He, 11Li, 17B, 19B and 22C. Two neutron halo nuclei break into three fragments, never two, and are called baramine nuclei because of this behavior. 8E and 14B both exhibit a four neutron halo. Nuclei which have a proton halo include 8B and 26P. A two proton halo is exhibited by 17E and 27S. Proton halos are expected to be more rare and unstable than the neutron examples, because of the repulsive electromagnetic forces of the excess proton. S. Nuclear models, although the standard model of physics is widely believed to completely describe the composition and behavior of the nucleus, generating predictions from theory is much more difficult than for most other areas of particle physics. This is essentially because perturbation theory, a widely used mathematical tool, is not applicable to quantum chromodynamics at the energy scales relevant to the nucleus. As a result, Experiments have historically been compared to relatively crude models which are necessarily imperfect. None of these models completely explain experimental data on nuclear structure. The nuclear radius is considered to be one of the basic quantities that any model must predict. For stable nuclei the nuclear radius is roughly proportional to the cube root of the mass number of the nucleus, and particularly in nuclei containing many nucleons. As they arrange in more spherical configurations, the stable nucleus has approximately a constant density and therefore the nuclear radius can be approximated by the following formula. 
where A equals atomic mass number and RO A equals A1.25 A FM A equals A1.25 A A, A10 A15 AM. In this equation, the constant RO varies by 0.2 FM, depending on the nucleus in question, but this is less than 20% change from a constant. In other words, packing protons and neutrons in the nucleus gives approximately the same total size result as packing hard spheres of a constant size into a tight spherical or almost spherical bag. Liquid drop models Early models of the nucleus viewed the nucleus as a rotating liquid drop. In this model, the trade-off of long-range electromagnetic forces and relatively short-range nuclear forces, together cause behavior which resembled surface tension forces in liquid drops of different sizes. This formula is successful at explaining many important phenomena of nuclei, such as their changing amounts of binding energy as their size and composition changes, but it does not explain the special stability which occurs when nuclei have special magic numbers of protons or neutrons. Shell models and other quantum models a number of models for the nucleus have also been proposed in which nucleons occupy orbitals, much like the atomic orbitals in atomic physics theory. These wave models imagine nucleons to be either sizeless point particles in potential wells, or else probability waves as in the optical model, frictionlessly orbiting at high speed in potential wells. In the above models, the nucleons may occupy orbitals in pairs, due to being fermions, which allows to explain even odd Z and N effects well known from experiments. The exact nature and capacity of nuclear shells differs from those of electrons in atomic orbitals, primarily because the potential well in which the nucleons move is quite different from the central electromagnetic potential well which binds electrons in atoms. Some resemblance to atomic orbital models may be seen in a small atomic nucleus like that of helium-4 in which the two protons and two neutrons separately occupy one's orbitals analogous to the one's orbital for the two electrons in the helium atom, and achieve unusual stability for the same reason. Nuclei with five nucleons are all extremely unstable and short-lived, yet, helium-3, with three nucleons, is very stable even with lack of a closed one's orbital shell. Another nucleus with three nucleons the triton hydrogen-3 is unstable and will decay into helium-3 when isolated. Weak nuclear stability with two nucleons NP in the one's orbital is found in the deuteron hydrogen-2, with only one nucleon in each of the proton and neutron potential wells. While each nucleon is a fermion, the NP deuteron is a boson and thus does not follow Pauli exclusion for close packing within shells. Lithium-6 six with six nucleons is highly stable without a closed second 1p shell orbital. For light nuclei with total nucleon numbers 1 to 6 only those with 5 do not show some evidence of stability. Observations of beta stability of light nuclei outside closed shells indicate that nuclear stability is much more complex than simple closure of shell orbitals with magic numbers of protons and neutrons. For larger nuclei, the shells occupied by the nucleons begin to differ significantly from electron shells, but nevertheless, present nuclear theory does predict the magic numbers of filled nuclear shells for both protons and neutrons. The closure of the stable shells predicts unusually stable configurations, analogous to the noble group of nearly inert gases in chemistry. An example is the stability of the closed shell of 50 protons, which allows tin to have 10 stable isotopes more than any other element. Similarly, the distance from shell closure explains the unusual instability of isotopes which are far from stable numbers of these particles, such as the radioactive elements 43 and 61, each of which is preceded and followed by 17 or more stable elements. There are however problems with a shell model when an attempt is made to account for nuclear properties well away from closed shells. This has led to complex post hoc distortions of the shape of the potential well to fit experimental data, but the question remains whether these mathematical manipulations actually correspond to the spatial deformations in real nuclei. Problems with the shell model have led some to propose realistic two body and three body nuclear force effects involving nucleon clusters and then build the nucleus on this basis. Two such cluster models are the close packed Sfran model of Linus Pauling and the 2D Ising model of McGregor. Consistency between models. 
as with the case of superfluid liquid helium, atomic nuclei are an example of a state in which both ordinary particle physical rules for volume and non-intuitive quantum mechanical rules for a wave-like nature apply. In superfluid helium, the helium atoms have volume, and essentially touch each other, yet at the same time exhibit strange bulk properties, consistent with a Bousy euro einstein condensation. The latter reveals that they also have a wave-like nature and do not exhibit standard fluid properties, such as friction. For nuclei made of hadrons which are fermions, the same type of condensation does not occur, yet nevertheless, many nuclear properties can only be explained similarly by a combination of properties of particles with volume, in addition to the frictionless motion characteristic of the wave-like behavior of objects trapped in Erwin Schrer paragraph Dingmas quantum orbitals. See also References External links The Nucleus A Euro A Chapter from an Online Textbook, The Liver Chart of Nuclides A Euro IAEA in Java or HTML, Article on the Nuclear Shell Model, Giving Nuclear Shell Filling for the Various Elements. Access September 16, 2009. Timeline Subatomic Concepts, Nuclear Science and Technology.